there's almost no participation of 90 percent rahul sparks jati meltdown 90 percent of india obcs dalits adivasis they don't play the game they're not even in the game right and that's really the elephant in the room rahul's will scrap reservation triggers fight we will think of scrapping reservation when india is a fair place and india not a fair place after outrage rahul clarifies somebody misquoted me yesterday saying that i'm against reservation i've been saying again and again and again we're going to increase reservations beyond 50% and i'm not against reservation bjp breathes fire says quota can't be abolished the prejudice against reservation which rahul gandhi has in abundance got reflected in america reservation showdown that is our top focus on 6 pm prime So Rahul Gandhi on the issue of reservation has triggered a big political showdown with the BJP hitting out at Rahul accusing him of attempting to get rid of reservation so much so that home minister Amit Shah has also spoken out on it today saying that we will never allow Rahul Gandhi or the Congress to get rid of reservation in this country Rahul Gandhi said essentially this he said that if India was a fair country or when India becomes a fair country I will get rid of reservation Now soon after that comment triggered a storm he was forced to clarify as well let's get you all the details in our next report Rahul Gandhi's US visit continues to be in the eye of the storm and it's his comments on reservation that triggered a massive political meltdown in India We will think of scrapping reservations when India is a fair place and India not a fair place Now that that creates a problem because there are many people who come from the upper caste right who say look what have we done wrong day after this declaration in virginia the leader of opposition in lok sabha issued a clarification at another interaction in washington dc uh, i don't see it as a mandal versus kamandal issue and what we're saying is uh, different than and different than the 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 idea of only reservations what we are saying is we want a comprehensive understanding first of what's going on mm-hmm. and then we're going to apply a series of policies to correct it reservation being one of them somebody misquoted me yesterday saying that i'm against reservations i've been saying again and again and again we're going to increase reservations beyond 50% and i'm not against reservations but political fireworks are already exploding home minister amit shah came out all guns blazing at the congress mp saying that by speaking about abolishing reservations in the country rahul gandhi has once again brought the congress's anti reservation face to the forefront shah also declared that as long as bjp is there no one can abolish reservation in india rahul gandhi ji ki gair zimmedarana bayanbazi देश और विदेश में स्पष्ट तौर पर दिखाती है कि आज भी वो जिम्मेदारी मिलने के बावजूद भी गैर जिम्मेदारा बयान ही देंगे राहुल गांधी जब भी विदेश जाएंगे तो भारत का अपमान करेंगे क्या कह दिया आप देखिए आरक्षण समाप्त कर देंगे कभी नहीं होगा राहुल गांधी जान ले आप राहुल गांधी यहाँ तो संविधान बचाने की बात करते हैं और वहाँ जाकर आरक्षण समाप्त करने की बात करते हैं कभी भी कांग्रेस ने भारत रत्न डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आम्बेडकर जी का और संविधान का सम्मान नहीं किया ये जो वक्तव्य सामने आया है इससे इनका असली चेहरा सामने आया कास्ट कंसेंसस एंड रिजर्वेशन हैव बीन वन ऑफ द मेन पॉलिटिकल इश्यूज ऑफ द कांग्रेस एंड इट्स अलाइज सिंस द रन अप टू द 2024 इलेक्शंस इंडिया पार्टनर्स हैव कम आउट इन राहुल गांधी सपोर्ट बीजेपी जो है अफवाह पार्टी है बीजेपी का मतलब ही है बड़का झूठा पार्टी ये केवल जनता को झूठ बोल करके भ्रमित करके अपने राजनीति को सेकने का काम करते हैं राहुल गांधी कई बाहर कह चुके हैं कि वो जाति आधार जातीय जनगणना कराएंगे 
आरक्षण को खत्म नहीं होने देंगे और जो लोग आरोप लगा रहे हैं वो तो संविधान विरोधी लोग हैं एट होम एंड अब्रॉड कास्ट एंड कोटा कंटिन्यू टू बी अचिंग डिबेट ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टूडे Considering how reservation and the issue of quota actually dominated the general election, it's not surprising that Rahul Gandhi's comments in America has triggered such a big political storm. And this time, the BJP is essentially attempting to turn the tables. Because if you remember, in the run-up to the elections, you had Rahul Gandhi referring to one or two comments by BJP RSS leadership, and these were comments largely that were tweaked and twisted to suggest that they are going to remove reservation. And then that was used by the Congress to say. that the bjp if they get charso power will go ahead and change the constitution change the constitution to remove reservation and this became a huge rallying call for the india bloc at every single rally it proved also to be a successful political tactic which is why today right now the bjp is attempting to use this to their advantage of using rahul gandhi's comment i want to show you exactly what rahul gandhi said on day 1 as well as his clarification to essentially set the record straight on whether rahul gandhi is suggesting that he is going to be removing reservation now we will think of scrapping reservations when india is a fair place and india not a fair place now that that creates a problem because there are many people who come from the upper caste right who say look what have we done wrong right why are we being punished and so then you think about increasing dramatically the supply of some of these things what we are saying is we want to comprehensive understanding first of what's going on mm -hmm. and then we're going to apply a series of policies to correct it reservation being one of them or oh, somebody said one of the somebody misquoted me yesterday saying that i'm against reservations i've been saying again and again and again we're going to increase reservations beyond 50% and i'm not against reservations so knowing full well how this could backfire you had rahul gandhi there clarifying very clearly and saying i was misquoted i am for reservation including increasing the reservation in the country the other big talking point over rahul gandhi's america visit has been in fact the meeting that he held with the american senators and mps including ilhan omar who's made headlines repeatedly here in india for her anti india stance her pro pakistan pro pok stand as well as far as pakistan's narrative is concerned and during his 3 day visit to america he's chosen to also be with ilhan omar meeting her along with a big delegation the bjp is lashed out at rahul gandhi saying that this is what rahul stands for that he goes ahead and backs anti national elements referring to the meeting with ilhan omar and also referring to his comment to om sikhs which is now been backed by khalistani terrorists congress leader and leader of the opposition rahul gandhi's trip to the us has sparked a firestorm back home for the third day in a row Rahul Gandhi met US lawmakers including Ilhan Omar during his visit to Washington DC. Ilhan Omar, a Somali American known for her anti-India stance and remarks, is the US representative for Minnesota's 5th district. She's known for her frequent anti-India tirades and support of anti-India moves within the US political system. Ilhan Omar had slammed India for the abolition of Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir and had visited Pakistan occupied Kashmir as well. She also boycotted Prime Minister Narendra Modi's speech to the US Congress. Ilhan Omar had backed the Canadian probe into allegations of the Indian government's alleged role in the killing of Khalistani separatist terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar. The BJP's big guns including Home Minister Amit Shah have rained fire on Rahul Gandhi for meeting Ilhan Omar. describing the leader of the opposition as anti india it almost seems as if he goes abroad to criticize all indians and his motherland i condemn the kind of statements and the people whom he is meeting during his foreign trips on the one hand he meets miss omar who is a known anti india propagandist The Congress has hit back at the BJP, calling its statement motivated. अब इलान उमर सबको रट गया। इलान उमर एक समूह में अलग-अलग राजनेताओं के एक समूह में राहुल गांधी से मिली 
अगर इन्हें इतनी ही आपत्ति है तो भाजपा तो यहाँ की सत्तारूढ़ दल है आज समन करें अमेरिका के राजदूत को आज चिट्ठी लिखें स्टेट डिपार्टमेंट को और अपनी आपत्ति दर्ज कराएं। Earlier Rahul Gandhi had sparked controversy with his claim on the Sikh community's struggles in India. The fight is about whether he, as a Sikh, is going to be allowed to wear his turban in India, or he, as a Sikh, is going to be allowed to wear a kada in India. Or he as a Sikh is going to be able to go to Gurdwara. That's what the fight is about. Now, Khalistani terrorist Gurpatwan Singh Pannu has supported Rahul's statements, calling them bold and factually grounded. Even Sikhs for Justice, a banned organization, has issued a statement hailing Rahul Gandhi's words. The BJP has warned that Rahul is setting a dangerous narrative. वो जिम्मेदारी मिलने के बावजूद भी गैर जिम्मेदारना बयान ही देंगे। वो सुर्खियों में बने रहने के लिए अब वहाँ फिलाने का झूठ बोलने का काम करते ही रहेंगे और राहुल गांधी जी मेरे साथ कितने सिख भाई बहन करें किसी को पगड़ी पहनने पे कोई रोक नहीं किसी को गुरुद्वारे जाने पे कोई रोक नहीं राहुल's visit to the U.S. has triggered controversy for multiple reasons including slamming the Modi government, meeting Pak sympathizer Ilhan Omar and now an endorsement by Khalistani terrorist Pannu. With Rahul Gautam in Delhi, Bureau Report in Delhi. And let's get you details about why this meeting with Ilhan Omar has been panned across India. He, she is known to in fact take an anti-India stand on every single issue and be sympathetic to Pakistan. In 2022, Ilhan Omar met with the Pakistani leadership and this is in her capacity as a lawmaker in America. She's spoken publicly, vocally several times in favor of Pakistan. The same year, she also visited POK and then spoke and advocated for the rights of POK as being part of Pakistan. And this, despite the fact of knowing what all has played out in POK and the history of how it is a part of India, Ilhan said Kashmir is not getting attention. And if you look at her social media timeline, she is constantly trying to preach on Kashmir. Ilhan also referred to Article 370 abrogation as a deep. Concern. She was one of those American lawmakers who tried to also create massive international ruckus and chorus over Article 370, which is why she is known to constantly speak against India, speak on Kashmir, try to uh, create some sort of movement in America against India, and that's why the lens and question will be on why Rahul Gandhi chose to meet her.